Hello again YouTube and we're back bringing you another Centurion's review and today we're going to take a look at Ace McLeod and his most powerful assault weapon system Skybolt. As you can see uh, the whole weapon system himself, uh, itself is even bigger than what Ace is and when he's all combined together it makes for one hell of a sight really is good. As you can see it's armed to the absolute teeth he's got four missiles a laser cannon, stealth weapon, I think that is, and there's two laser cannons mounted on the back there, and it is one humongous uh, piece. Let's just get Ace off to the side there now, because this thing is big. This thing is absolutely gigantic. This is even bigger. This would be boarding on the size of, I would say, a leader class transformer. This, that's how big. This thing is in hand, very, very big. Um, didn't survive too well in storage, if I'm honest, when I found it. This was the worst one. Plastic is sort of warped and things like that. There's not too much discoloration. Colour stickers have come off, but that's okay. Some are intact, some are not. But this is one big, big weapon system. And again, just like Wild Weasel, obviously when you haven't got the Centurions on it, it's all self-contained. You can put tab the legs on, tab the chest on, so you know exactly where everything is. You don't end up losing things, which is something I do appreciate very much. When Ken were designing and building these things, they obviously had a good mindset. If only Hasbro could learn the same lesson. Anyway, uh, let's get uh, Ace all armoured up. Power Extreme. Let's just grab all the base. Plonk his helmet on, there we go, put him off to the side, and let's start taking things apart. So all we have to do is take the front off, untab that, untab these things from the legs, put the jet down, and the first we do, we take all of Ace, we take these side pieces and they tab into his legs, like that, nice and securely, so we've got one there. Now we've got one here, there we are, one, to get a bit of a snap back. You didn't hear a snap, but it obviously went in, and some obviously are a bit more secure than others. Again, these are 30 year plus toys, so there we are, just like that. Then we take the sky bolt like that, and tab it into his back, with a oh, good click there. And then we take the front, tab that in, there we are, and that is Ace McLeod combined with Skybolt. And I have to say, this is one really big, big weapon system. Quick comparison, let's just bring in uh, Jake in Wild Weasel, so you can see how they both look together, like that. And... Uh, these are two really, really big figures. I had no, as I say, things were a lot better and uh, bigger, I should say, in the 80s. And uh, yes, indeed, they were. These two are absolutely gigantic. These are bordering on, I would say, Voyager and Leader class size. Very, very good. Very nice figures. Okay, Jake, let's get you out of the way for a second. Um, uh, well, what can I say? Well, then, he's on combined. Like that, you know, you've got the, unfortunately these don't fire, these are just here for decoration, uh, but uh, he's got two missiles here. These uh, heat seekers, they do actually fire, there's little pins on the inside there, so you just shoot those out like that, and they both fire, as you just heard, they do go a long way. There's a little button up on the side here for a turbine, so you can spin the turbine there. What it should do as well. I think it might be something wrong with the figure. As you shoot to the turbine, the front should turn as well. You can see how it's going like that. So it should be turning the turbine. When you turn the turbine, it should rotate and go up and down for the laser cannon. But obviously, that's not working at the moment. Bit of a shame. But uh, that's another gimmick as well. And it's just, I can't believe how big this thing actually is. This is really, really big. But he does look good. And the good thing about this particular set as well is you see all the holes here. At the moment, this is just set up as it is in the show. But you can add other parts from his other assault weapon systems. You can add this, you can add that. 
um, you can really, really make it your own. You don't have to have a stock like that. You can have the missiles down here, you can have them under here, you can have these on the other side, you can have them on his on his hands if you wanted to. Um, uh, Ken uh, did really give you a, a lot of choice when it came to actually uh, using these things and I just think they're brilliant. What a, what a great find, what an absolutely great find. So, yeah, there's really not much to, more to say about uh, the Centurions, um, and, but basically they're, they're, they're brilliant figures. Obviously, you're not going to get much possibility out of them, but um, I, I still think that they're fantastic figures. Um, Ace is going to go for a damn good clean, going to get all the plastic, I'm going to take everything apart, I'm going to soak them in liquid water, I'm going to scrub them all clean, get them all nice. I'll see if maybe Toy Hacks or somebody does a sticker set for them. If not, I might just... Uh, uh, have a look to see what I can find on uh, on eBay. Um, I'm still looking for Max Ray. Not much luck at the moment. There is one there, but he's over a hundred pound. And I don't know. I'm not. I'm tempted, but uh, he only comes with one assault weapon system. Hundred pound. I expect at least uh, another one again. But um, no. So um, still waiting to see what I can get there now. But uh, if you're lucky enough like me to still have your Centurion figures. I say keep them because they're worth quite a bit of money at the moment. So there we are. Um, I do have a detonator review coming up with Jake, but at the moment I don't have all the pieces. I'm still looking. The more I look, the more I find. So just need to go through a few more boxes and fingers crossed I should have all the pieces because I would really like to do it because detonator was his biggest and most powerful assault weapon system he had. And it comes with a lot of parts. Can't guarantee I'm going to find them all. But as soon as I find the majority of them, I shall do a review. So there you are. Dicken uh, Please comment, rate and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video review. Please stay tuned for more Centurions and more Transformers reviews coming shortly. Okay then. Dicken boys. Tara.